internet what's happening my name is Steve Looney and I'm the owner of graphicdesignertips.com and I'd like to introduce you to the very first episode of logo design bootcamp is put together for you to be better as a graphic artist uh, in regards to logo design so in each episode I have created a fictitious logo for you to learn from and I'm gonna talk about it show you elements and techniques and in the end I'm gonna show you how to build it in Adobe Illustrator all right so we're gonna stay with current events right now because we have the elections in a few days so I figured why not for the letter A it matches perfectly with the word America so uh, the first logo I have designed is America votes 2012 which is right here and um, I'm gonna change the background because to make keep some continuity between our logo it's actually called branding so let's change that all right so now we have our background and let's get into this logo now all right, so right now I'm going to critique this logo real quick, and uh, starting with the fonts. We have two different fonts in this. We have one nice big bold font for the word America, which needs to stand out, needs to be prominent, because it is the most important part of the logo. And then we have Votes 2012, which is kind of a subheader, uh, subtext to it. It doesn't have to be as prominent. And rule of thumb is you can use two different types of fonts in your logo design um, so you don't have to bold everything and, and you know and make everything stand out like a lot of people try to do um, it you know tends to look kind of cheap and clunky after a while so what I wanted to do in this logo was to create the effect of the red white and blue and I did that by making a wave effect that actually cuts through the letters and it breaks the letters up into different shapes which actually allows me to put red on the bottom area and blue in the top area um, I also knocked out the A over here in a star and the A at the end with a star and it's cool because the first A it knocks out the blue area the most and it knocks out the red area the most on the second so let's come down to the bottom of this logo we have the American Eagle and we have the little red line over here um, that actually contains the vote 2012 in the middle we could have done anything with votes 2012 we could have made it really big but I didn't want to do that to make it you know very distracting and clunky so these little elements like the bald eagle and the red line they actually keep this logo you know in line so we're gonna remove this guy for a second you'll see what I mean you know it adds a little bit of character to it uh, personalizes it you know down the road you could always use this American Eagle uh, as a part of something else in your artwork you know like uh, maybe on your website or whatnot and the last thing I did was put this little star in the O right here so uh, I'm also going to show you this real quick. Uh, if this was a can if this was part of a campaign, uh, how it looks in black and white. It's going to look great in black and white. Um, although we have these different colors in it, you want to make sure of that because you know, say people are going to be faxing this or doing you know things that copying this logo. You want to make sure it looks good in black and white as much as it looks good in color. It's always going to look better in color, but you want it to look good all the elements. So let's jump into Illustrator now, and I'll actually show you how to build this. All right, so I'm going to show you how to build this logo real quick in Adobe Illustrator. I'm using version CS6, but all this stuff will apply to any version you're actually designing in. So we're going to come up to the type tool up here, and we're going to click and type in the word America. All right, I'm using compact to bold. I am going to squeeze this a little bit. I am not a fan of distorting fonts, but in this case, it actually works. Uh, we need to outline this. This is actually reading text right now. We need to turn it into shapes. So we're going to come up to object, excuse me, type, create outlines, all right, and or that shift command O as a keyboard shortcut. And now we have the word America. I want to get these little triangles out of the A's by going to the direct selection or hitting the letter A. And you got to click on one of the points, very important. All right, and then you can just delete that delete those now let's add the stars in here by coming up to the star tool and we're going to hold down shift so it makes the star nice and nice once I let go of shift you see it's gonna move all over the place I want it to be straight up and down like that um, I'm going to fill my foreground color with I'm gonna hit the default I'm gonna make it white and take off that black stroke and come back to our star and kinda of squeeze it in a little bit alright you can either copy and paste this star to get it over to the other A or you can hold option click and drag and if you hold the shift it'll stay on the same plane but I'm gonna get this a little lower and move this one a little higher now right now these are just white stars on top of a black back and I'm gonna knock these out right now 
by using something called the Pathfinder tool. So while we have these two stars selected, I'm going to go to Object, Arrange, Send to Back. So now they disappeared, but they're really behind the A. Um, you need to use your direct selection because you're selecting individual elements and you got a marquee around these two elements and in your Pathfinder which you can go to window and Pathfinder if it's not already out you would come over here to the minus back it's gonna subtract the element from the back from the front one which is what we want so we do that to the first one and we do the same exact thing to the second one now we actually have shapes with a knockout in the middle so it's no longer just a star on top of a you know a shape on top of a shape so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create this little wave through the, the words by coming up here to the pen tool we're gonna to click outside the word and we're going to come in here and we're going to create our little curves in here I have another tutorial on the, on the pen tool if you do not know how to do this um, but I'm just kinda of going through this real quick so you understand I'm going to fill the stroke with white and I'm going to make that stroke pretty heavy all right, all right. So we're gonna come up to object. We're going to outline this stroke, path outline stroke, and it's gonna turn it into a shape. And what that shape allows us to do it, it allows us to use our pathfinder as we did with the stars and break up all the elements. So this word America is one entire word right now, but if I select America and I select this outline stroke and I come into my pathfinder and hit trim, it's going to trim the top half and the bottom half now everything is all grouped together so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit my direct selection which is a again and we're gonna click this bad boy and we're gonna delete alright so now if I use my direct selection you're gonna notice you see how there's a top element there it's just taking the top elements because now it, it basically cut the letters in half and without going into gradients which I also have another tutorial on you can select right here the gradient tool uh, excuse me you can direct select all the letters on the top half and go to the eyedropper and I'm gonna select this right here as the blue and I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom on the red awesome very very easy so on the bottom of this we're now gonna create our bottom area we're gonna type in votes votes 2012 and yes by the way I am very excited to vote in a few days uh, I would have had this tutorial out earlier if we didn't have this nasty hurricane, but stuff happens. All right, myriad. I'm going to make this smaller. And I don't want it to be bold because you don't have to bold every single thing. Um, what I also did in the logo below, the original logo, is I had the 2 and the I line up and the V and the M line up. So this isn't something that's going to make or break your logo, but it's just clean design it's something that you know you should always kind of strive for I do all the time um, we're gonna take this American Eagle I'm just gonna copy him and we're gonna overlay him but we could also do a pathfinder just like we did on the stars and this and that little wave through the word and cut it out from the A and the C but we're not gonna do that right now but just so you know you can do that I'm going to just change this into like a navy blue the votes 2012 the last thing I'm gonna do is come up to the star tool I'm going to click hold down and I'm going to grab the rectangle tool, which is also M. I'm going to make this little rectangle right here and I'm going to sample the red and it's going to turn it into our logo. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the first installment of Logo Design Bootcamp. If you have ideas of future videos, let me know. Comment below. Uh, don't forget to like our video and definitely subscribe to our channel. We're going to be doing these once a week and you'll be able to get them in your email every time they come out. So um, that's it, everybody. Don't forget to vote. Very important in a couple days. And uh, be safe and uh, happy designing.